Good morning, everybody. Joel here. I just wanted to share some thoughts I had with you about the book of Genesis. It's interesting that God has put his gospel message, uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ, all throughout the Bible from the very beginning. I'm going to show you how. Um, first and foremost, though, it's interesting to note that when Adam and Eve sinned, they were tempted with eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And the temptation there is as Satan presents to them that if they eat from it God knows that they will become like him so that the sin here interesting enough that knowledge the Bible says puffs up so this desire to be like God and to know everything and to know at his level is essentially what brought about the fall of man because no one is like God the Bible says, who is like you, O Lord, and who is man that you are mindful of him? And yet, this was the temptation. Ironically, the beginning, or the fear of the Lord, is the beginning of knowledge. It's very obvious that Adam and Eve did not fear God in that moment. Rather, they decided to be lovers of themselves. So moving forward, after the, um, the introduction of sin into the world, when God comes and gives the curse to the serpent and to Eve and to Adam, it's interesting that when he speaks to the serpent, he gives the gospel message right there. And he tells the serpent that he will crawl on his belly, that he will put enmity between his seed and her seed, and he shall bruise his heel, and he shall crush his head that's the gospel message Jesus Christ crushed the head of the serpent on the cross see the the promise was if you eat of the fruit you will die and and all mankind will die and if you do not believe in Jesus you will also take part in what is called the second death that is eternal condemnation so right there we see the the foretelling prophecy of Jesus coming and crushing the head of the snake he's crushing the power of the serpent over sin and death <clears throat> what I also find interesting is that Adam was given the curse um, of having to work the ground and because of his sin the ground would be cursed with thorns and the like. Isn't it interesting that Jesus goes to the cross and wears a head of thorns? Isn't it also interesting that sin entered the world by a tree and it ended on a tree? The thing here is we are called in Genesis, God gave a command to Adam and Eve to fill the earth and subdue it, to multiply. And we can see how this connects spiritually to us today. Jesus said to his disciples before he ascended to heaven, Go therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. That, brothers and sisters, is the new command that connects to the cultural mandate in Genesis to fill the earth and subdue it. One was physical, now everything's being changed, and there is a spiritual application. We are supposed to fill the, the earth and subdue it today. That doesn't mean we're going to reign and conquer as a, a lot of people teach with the seven mountain mandate, we're not going to literally claim the earth, but we do have a call to go and fill it by spreading the gospel and turning people back to God in Christ Jesus. So those are my morning thoughts for today. I uh, hope it's been a blessing to somebody. Until next time, God bless and take care.